theological remark. Now, let me go back. Uh, I didn't t- talk about number theory in here. You may even think I cheated in the title. So let me just end up here. See, Hilbert's dream was always that the Riemann hypothesis, which is about the zeros of the Riemann zeta function, the non-trivial zeros, they're supposed to lie on a line. And the idea was if you could find a natural uh, operator whose eigenvalues would be these self-adjoint operator, whose eigenvalues would be these zeros, then, of course, because it's a self-adjoint operator, they would lie on a line. So the idea was, could, can you find such an operator? And where would you naturally look? You would naturally look in physics. So the idea was, Hilbert's dream was, if you can find a natural physical interpretation of the operator whose spectrum gives you the zero as the Riemann zeta function, then you'll have proved the Riemann hypothesis. Well, this is the dream. It's still a dream. Uh, Alan Kahn has uh, tried to get the Riemann hypothesis out of his framework. He hasn't quite succeeded. And I, I was speculating that Kahn has not succeeded because he hasn't really touched gravity properly because he's dealing with associative algebras. So if I want to be bra- really brave, make a big conjecture, I want to suggest the Riemann hypothesis should come out of quantum gravity. It should somehow correspond to the Hamiltonian of quantum gravity, if we know what that means. We don't know quantum gravity yet. Its theory does not yet exist. If we do have the theory, then we may be able to answer the question, what is the Hamiltonian of the theory? And that would be a very fundamental operator and because it's so fundamental, it will obviously have to be self-adjoined. And it's so fundamental, it might be related to number theory. So you close the circle and you solve, you achieve Hilbert's dream. Well, that's my, you know, I, I don't put very much, I'm not waging a large bet on that, a small bet. Uh, some of the other things I think I believe more. But philosophically, it has the right idea that if there is going to be a solution of this difficult problem of Riemann hypothesis, many people have tried it for hundreds of years, then you need to have a really powerful new idea. The idea of finding an operator whose spectrum gives you the zeros is not new. But the question is, where would you find it? What should it represent? It should represent something new in physics. And so it might be related to the ideas of quantum gravity. Well, that's...